everyone, so it's Alice and for today's video I'll be talking about how I study and get into the math school. As for the first tips, which is trying to make your own notes. And please be understand that whenever you're trying to make your own notes, please be knowing that whatever you have already been written on the notes, it's based your understanding and not blindly follow whatever is on your lecture notes. It's just like copying the same thing instead of processing your own brain to know that which one is important for the topic and then just do whatever is just um, printed out on the lecture notes. Once you have done with your notes, please go and refer back to your lecture notes because you don't want to um, remember the wrong stuff so it's better for you to go through back to all of the lecture notes and try to compare it to your notes to see which point you have really missed out and then at the same time the concept is there and of course in the notes I'll be just featuring other kind of question that they may ask in the test as you have already gone through a lot of kind of question paper and then from there you will tend to tackle the way that they're gonna ask you that's why um, for me I'll just write it down as you guys can see from here I'll just write it down the kind of um, the way that you're gonna ask and then after that I'm just gonna write the step that how am I gonna solve this question at the same time I'll just write it down a small notes for me to know that this is the keywords that um, they will be using during the question and this is the way that you need to do so this is one of my notes that I have been um, making by my own as you guys can see that it is full of colors and the most important thing is that I have really combined three of the topics together in a piece of paper I've really been written down whatever that I need to know for these three topics it is very effective for me to read it I don't have to refer back to my lecture notes which is a bonus mark for me and I love it so much as for the second tips which is ways to remember stuff as Lots of you guys know that the topic that you want to study it is not just based on your understanding but more like memorization. So for me there's two kind of ways that is quite work for me. So for the first one which is mnemonic and the second thing which is storyline memorization. As you guys can see for the first one the mnemonic I'm just going to give you a example for it so that you guys can understand what I'm trying to say. This is um, how I remember the rainbow color. Richard of York gave battle in vain. And then instead of blindly remember the stuff, I'll just make it into a mnemonic. As for the storyline, all I can say is that whenever you guys are trying to make this one, try to make sure that it is fantasy. But to be safe side, which is try to know that um, how is the theory gonna work at the same time how is the storyline gonna link it up and make sure that you did not accidentally mix it up with other kind of theory and in the third tips that I will be saying which is try to make as much as practices as you can I would say that whenever you're trying to make practices please re remember that it is a way for you to brush up your skills and then the second one which is trying to make you to understand more about the topic as well as try to learn from your mistake that whenever you have already done uh, practices try to when refer back why is there a mistake and then try to go and understand the concept again so that you'll be understand what is happening as well as it's better for you to seek help from your lecturer as well as your friends a method new method to solve the question here's the thing one plus three is equal to four and then two plus two is equal to four as well so this both method gonna get you to the same answer so it's better for you to seek some help and then from there if you can just ask them is there any method that they have been using to solve this question try to find a method that is suits you as for the fourth one which is ways to get motivated as for me i'll be having two ways of me getting motivated the first one which is get motivated by other people for example just go to your youtube or your instagram try to look for people who are constantly posting them doing their work so from there it is easier for you to get motivated and then just get back to your track as for the second way which is try to set goals for each of the day so whenever you have already write 
a few tasks it just try to make sure that you're not getting distracted by other stuff and then you just try to focus on whatever you wanted to do on that day as for the last tips i like to use flashcard for me i prefer to use quizlet as it helps me a lot during my um, revision time because whenever I'm trying to um, remember stuff and everything and then um, it helps me to brush up and then to lock up my memory I'll try to cover as much as I can for each of the topic for my flashcard as I know that it can really take up a lot of my time of making it but it is really worth it as it is quite convenient for most of us because None of the people wanted to bring a big bunch of notes to go everywhere So by having the apps on your phone, you can just refer back and um, test your knowledge Those are the tips that I've been using during my pre-med school And I really hope that it can help um, people who are around the world So yeah, so thank you guys for watching